up until about uh, six months ago how important this is. But what happens is just like a human's fingernail, their outside of their hoof continues to grow. As it continues to grow, it actually folds over. As it folds over, you actually can get dirt and then therefore parasites can actually grow and that's what causes hoof rot. So on our sheep, we do this whenever, right after they give birth. Um, it gives them an, us an opportunity to go ahead and check out the babies, check the condition of the mama, and then we also trim their hooves to make sure they're in really good shape. So we're going to do that today. Um, I'm going to start by trimming her back hooves, and then after that, um, we're going to go ahead and give her an ear tag too. Okay, so here we go. So you take this little shear, come on in here, and actually clean it out. Clean it out with the front, and then trim off. Start trimming. Get this all out. What I like to do is actually on the ones that aren't real curled over because sometimes they get a little bit more. I actually like to come in here with a razor knife and just actually take my razor knife and just cut off that extra part. It seems to me to get a little better feel with my knife and on top of it I think I get a cleaner cut. So you got that one. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same on this hoof. Neither one of these are too bad. This one has a little bit more folded over. And again, this is just like the toenail. It continues to grow on a human, so we got to make sure we do that. Our property does have a little bit of rocks on it, so it does take down some of that, but uh, so we don't have as much rock as other people in this part of the country, but uh, so we're actually taking the time to make sure we do that. And you can see there was quite a bit of build up on that one this off, skin that out, and there's nothing, there's nothing to be worried about here as long as you understand about trimming your toenails. You don't want to trim your toenails too short, therefore you don't want to trim the sheaves hooves too short either. This one here, a little bit longer, should be able to get in here with this tool, do the initial cut. There we go, pull that out. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to finish this one up and then we're going to put an ear tag on her and let her go. So we'll be back with you in a second. So now that we've finished, now that we've finished uh, trimming her hooves, this is one of our older sheep. She's actually been with us for two years. Um, she's a great mother. Uh, every time she's given us twins, this time she's given us a little boy and a little girl. Um, in this particular case, we're going to go ahead, since we know we're keeping her and uh, we're starting to get a little bit better with our farm as far as tracking our animals, we want to go ahead and give them ear tags. Um, and not only uh, important for tracking them, we're getting quite a few animals now, so if we don't track them, it's going to be really hard for us to know um, and make sure that we're, uh, we're giving them all the proper things that we need to uh, as we separate them out um, in the winter time. So here we go, we're going to put an ear tag on her. She's going to be number three. She was one of the first ones that ever came to our, 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 uh, our little herd. And, okay, there we go. Now we got her. And now, she's in good shape. Nothing's wrong with her. We got her a little stressed out. And we want to uh, go ahead and let her return to her babies. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Shalom.